this is Will Swenson, and you're watching the Great White Way Report. Good evening, I'm Samantha Souza. And I'm Coleman Taylor Drew. This is the Great White Way Report. And now for Broadway's top news stories. It has recently been announced that Drowsy Chaperone star Beth Lovell will join the cast of Mamma Mia, finally giving me a reason to see the show after eight plus years of it being open. The 2009-2010 Broadway season is underway, with the opening of the new musical Burn the Floor, giving me and Sam a reason to burn the theater down. <laughs> the new Broadway-bound musical, The First Wives Club, the musical, has opened at San Diego's Old Globe. Now, I'm really excited about this musical because it's based on one of my favorite movies of all time. So, should we watch a clip? Yeah. Okay. Well, friends, there's a lot of buzz surrounding the upcoming Berkeley rep production of American Idiot, the Green Day musical. Tony Award-winning actor John Gallagher Jr. has signed on, along with Tony Award-winning director Michael Mayer and Tony Award-winning producers Ira Pittleman and Tom Hulse, all who were involved in Tony Award-winning musical Spring Awakening. Something tells me that somebody's trying to strike lightning twice, because that's possible. Especially on Broadway. Always happens. Putting up with shit! I'm Cameron Mackintosh, Napoleon of Broadway. Son hey, Great White Layers, it's Samantha and Coleman here with our new segment, Baking with the Stars. And we have none other than Mr. Will Swenson. How are you doing today? Super Woo! duper. So we're baking brownies. <laughs> brownies? Yes. Brownies. I love brownies. Who doesn't love a good brownie? Let's so, get started. Let's do it. So are you much of a baker yourself? <laughs> so much. I bake so much that it hurts me. That's a really good amount to bake. <laughs> so if you want to start the crack in the eggs. I want to. When you're not baking, as you say you do so much, you are? Uh, prostituting. Okay. My talents to the world. In Hair. Yes. Um, in Hair the Musical. Yes. Uh, on the Broadway. At the Al Hirschfeld. At the Al Hirschfeld Theater. I didn't break any yolks or um, uh, that shells. That was some master I, cracking. I, I, you didn't. That was really good. I didn't. Dump those on in there. Let's do this. Okay, don't tell me what to do. All right, I'm just going to remove the shells because you put them in the oil. <laughs> <laughs> but I did put the shells in the oil. Which I like to do is, is just kind it's of. It's a more a flavoring. flavoring technique. It's more flavoring. It's, it's more communal, which it's, I'm it's, into. Yes. So, I have to say, I've been through a lot of shows, and I've never seen an audience react the way they do at hair. It's insane. It's How has that been for you? It's been fantastic. Um, it's it's a lot more. It sounds cheesy, but it's a lot more than just a show. It's really a, an experience. It means a lot to people, and they yeah. they flip out. They really do. Yeah, I want to add the oil. I want to. Um, what's it been like going through? Because you were in all three incarnations of the show. Yes. How are the audiences different or the experience? How has that grown and changed for you? It's been like a big privilege, I feel like, because should I stir as I answer? Yeah, do it. It's been a privilege. This is my Aunt Betty's recipe, by the way. Hey, Aunt Betty. My Aunt Betty Crocker. Oh! <laughs> no. Um, I'm going to put this in while you stir. Okay. Right. It's been a privilege because I think a lot of times you do a show and you, you show up on the first day of rehearsal, everybody's new, yeah, yeah. and you rehearse and you put the show up. Um, I, you know, most of us in the show have been with the show for all three incarnations, and we uh, have had three different shots at kind of yeah. trying to get it right. And then we've had various um, other actors kind of come into the mix, so you get one, f you know, flavor or idea from one actor, and then you're kind of thrown another actor, and they give you another kind of angle, and so it, it really has forced us to kind of think at the storytelling from different angles, you know? Yeah. We were looking at your resume, and we saw that you were on Law and Order. Yeah. And what was your character's Character name? Um, oh, what was it? My character's name was. I'm, I'm spacing it. I can't. Ugly I think guy. It was ugly guy. It was. It was ugly guy. Yeah. Okay. Which we. 
Is that what it says on like, the IMDb page? We're just going to move on. <laughs> Ugly guy really? It says, it says, what it says. <laughs> I'm going to like petition. I think it's actually yeah. it says on your resume. It says on your resume. Oh, that might be my that might be my your, joke. That's yes, probably your, that's probably my joke. joke. Oh god, there are jokes. Oh, as long as it's my joke, it's jokes all right. on the resume. I thought it was right. like on the IMDb page, and well, I was yeah. going to be upset. Speaking of resumes, um, we all have sp a, like a list of special skills. Well, I have sewing case. and knitting. On my case, I ever get to play Mrs. Lovett. <laughs> and um, yours, I think it says things I do awesome. Things I do awesome. Right, that's what's on yours. Oh, I think it says. Other awesome things, things will do. do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are there any other special, interesting skills that you have on there? Um, that I have on there, I. There's I have, one that I really like. What? Which is? It's the last thing. Oh, works well with gays. And he does. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've taken a lot of heat for that actually. I really? Why? A funny joke. Oh, because some people have no sense of humor. It's true, but it's it's supposed to be a funny. So you do work well with gays. As a, as, a joke, as a joke. As a but joke, and it's also you true. You also are it's using your true. voice to help That's spread true. the word. That's true. It's mainly not well. Not it's, it's, yeah, it's good. Lately, we've um, had a nice venue format from which to, you know, protest and be active. Uh, Gavin Creel, that's in here with me, is. Um, I've never heard of him. <laughs> his uh, his group has started a group with some friends called Broadway Impact. And um, yeah, sort of. And um, and he's just uber organized mm -hmm. and motivated, and and um, and then cat the cast of Hair as a whole is super uh, motivated, and and so we jump in on all the, you know, protests and activities and and marches and rallies that Gavin puts together, and um. And as a result, we're gonna get some changes made in this country. Yeah. So Gavin is inspiring. He's a he's a, an amazing guy. Yeah. No, t no talent, though. <laughs> Too bad about Sad. his voice. But right? Don't, don't worry about it. What's going on there? I don't know. He'll learn. Oh. Last thing that we kind of like to do is a word association game. Awesome. So Are we say right? a word. Okay. You say the first word that comes into your mind. Okay. Do you think you can handle it? Absolutely. Okay. It's kind of tough. It's okay. Really tough. No, Ready? No, I, no, I want to do some stretches before. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I got to think all the words. All right. Okay. The view. Barbara Streisand. Beyonce. The Diet Coke. Dr. Seuss. Seven. Oceanside Wellness. Audra McDonald. <laughs> uh, socks. Our, our can't be too thick. You so won. I think um, we're going to put this in the oven. All right. And these take, these bake at uh, 375, yeah, for about 20 minutes. 375 for about 20 minutes. Um, you might want to, when around 20, take a knife. Oh my god, they're done. done. Oh. We know, I want to thank you so much for coming out. And uh, baking with us today. You're welcome. I'm That's glad I could help. Yeah? By Great White Warriors. So, Hair, the Tony Award winning revival. We both saw it. Here's our 60 second review. Go. Did you like it? Um, I loved it. I saw it three times. Not once with me. I saw it once. I really, really, really enjoyed it. I didn't like Hair until I saw this production. Actors, when they are so excited about what they're doing, they are so filled with joy and wonder. Thank you, Danny Gerwin. It's never, it never falls. It it's never falls. It's always going. They are so excited and they are so in the world. The set is like really simple, but the lights and everything is gorgeous. The creative team, for as far as the design goes, brilliant, brilliant work. The second time I saw it was the day of the Tonys before they won, and I swear to God, I thought that. It really smelled like pot. It was not theater. pot. It was clearly not like, pot. And I had already seen it, so I was like, this smells different than the first time I saw it. Anyway, so we, because we did this interview with Will Swenson, I had to ask him what was up. And he said that it wasn't... I'm not so sure. Casey Sheik. I'm in love with her. I mean, um, Allison. Allison Case. She's so full of wonder and joy, um, but I kind of think she's a little Alistair Blake. But everybody in the cast is amazing. The third time I saw the show was five understudies, and it was just as fantastic. So it just goes to show how amazing the people are that are in that cast. It's very true. Will is great. Will is he, delicious. Obviously. He has a voice that's kind of addicting, much like drugs. What's the other guy's name? Are you serious? What's the other guy's name? I can't remember his name. Gavin Creel. Done. I'm Samantha Souza, and I'm Coleman Taylor Drew. Check back next time for more Broadway updates, and remember. Break a leg, Broadway. Bitches! <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm gonna stage it. We'll clean up when we're done. Don't okay. worry. Okay. Those brownies are great. Just gave one to the baby. What? Henry. Love it. You gave one to the baby? Mm -hmm. Henry, spit it out!
What's the problem? I don't know. <laughs> Is that right? Mm. Well, I'm just one. <laughs>